In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, isolating and selecting certain stones and being able to modify them in whatever way y you need to. We have a couple of great options um, right here on the main form, and that is involving the target button. And then we have some additional options over here um, on the selections tab where we can select by fill color, we can select by the name of the object, we can select by the size of the object, we can select by the outline uh, uh, and the outline width, so outline color and outline width. So we have lots of different options and what's also nice is we can isolate even further by fill and by size and by name so we can really isolate exactly what we need to find. Now back over here on the, on the main uh, form these two buttons will do 90 percent of what we would need to do on a day-to-day uh, -day basis when we're doing rhinestone design. So a customer said well what would this design look like if we used a different color combination. So we'll we'll show you that uh, example first. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete my weed box. And so the first question is, is what if we made all the crystal, what if we made all of that uh, red and then all of the blue we made black? Well, this is how you'd go about doing that. What we would do is take one of our crystal stones and we target that. Okay, and then we select our design, and when you hit S, it's going to pick up all the crystal stones, all of the, the, of the same fill color, and then we can apply a color to that. So we could just go ahead and click on our light cyan square, and it changes all those to light cyan. So then likewise with the blue, even that kind of looks pretty, but with the blue, what we would do again is we target a blue stone, and then we can pick all those up by hitting S and that now we've isolated all of our blue stones and so now we can apply those to black. So now the next thing that we might want to do is we might want to do something a little bit different. What if I just felt like taking all of these stones in this center ring here, what if I wanted to change all those to crystal? Well, what I could do here is I could select that, and I could target that, and now we're going to do something a little bit different. Now what we're going to do is by right-clicking on S, we're going to select our entire design again, but by right-clicking on S, we're going to say, no, what I want to do is I want to pick up everything that matches the fill color of what I marked, but also the diameter or the size that I marked. So watch what happens when I right click, it's only going to pick up those objects that match the fill and size of what I marked. So now I'm going to change those to crystal. And now you can see that these stones here are, are um, SS16, but these other stones, well, those are uh, SS20s. So any stone that I selected that matched the fill of what I marked, that's what got picked up. Okay, now I'm actually going to undo that because I want to show you some additional powerful functionality. Well, what if I said I wanted all these large stones to be picked up that are light Siam because I want to change the whole lot? Well, what I can do in that scenario is I can select and target more than one, more than one color more than one size. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select one of the smaller light cyan stones and one of the bigger and target both of those. Now what I'm going to do, now I should point out too in this design, we can't select by size because we do have some SS16 black and SS20 black. So we can't select by size. We have to select by size and color. So that's why we right click on S. If we have something marked, okay, we're going to target that. If we have something targeted, then when we right click on S, it has a special functionality that it otherwise wouldn't have. You know, when we right click on S, it's supposed to simulate, right? But not if something is targeted. 
then it won't simulate, then it will make a selection. So it's really quite sophisticated, all the options it has. But if we right-click on S, then it picks up all of those stones, and then if I change them all to crystal, you can see that all of the larger light cyan stones have now all been changed to crystal. All right, so now if we go ahead and throw a weed box around the back side of it there, you can see how nice that looks. It gives a it really gives a whole different look than just having everything one color. Um, so you can play with that and really be able to isolate exactly what you want to do. Now, if you want to have a little bit more fun and just try some different things, see this flourish here? Well, what if I want to change all those black stones out? But just in this flourish, well, what we could do, and I don't know what we would do with them but necessarily, but let's just go ahead and try something. Um, let's go ahead and target one of those black stones. But now we're going to use our freehand selection tool and just kind of target that whole flourish. And if I hit S, it's going to pick up all the black stones in, inside of that flourish only. Okay, so again... I deselected it in the process, but let me let me go ahead and target a stone. We'll make a selection. We'll hit S to pick up all of our black stones. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll change them to black diamond, for example. You see how cool that is? Now, I want to show you another option um, just so you, so you understand all of the available options to you. If we target a black stone, and I only want to change black in the flourishes, here's what you can do. You can use your freehand pick tool to grab this flourish. If we hold down the shift key, so now if we hold down the shift key, we can continue to make additional selections. All right, so if I hold down my shift key, everything I, I select now will be added to the original. You can see that. So now you can see all those have been added to the original selection. And then we can go ahead and move on to our next. Again, we'll add shift and we'll go ahead and select all of these as well. Now I did miss one stone. You can see that here. I, I missed selecting just one stone. So we'll zoom in here and hold our shift key and add it to the selection. So now if I hit S, it will only target the black stones in the areas that I had selected. And I can swap those all out to uh, black diamond now. So now you can see we have really a completely uh, different look to this than we, ha than we had previously. So maybe I'll, I'll do a, a nice light gray and just for fun we can go ahead and simulate this by right clicking on S and now because we right clicked on S and we didn't have anything targeted now it will perform the simulation function instead so we have lots of different options available to us um, using those just those two basic selection tools um, with the target button and the selection button there. So you can see it has a really different kind of look. I wonder what does it look like on black now. If we put that back on black. So yeah, that looks kind of pretty as well. So anyhow, hopefully that gives you a better understanding of, of being able to make selections by size, by color, and you know isolate certain areas of your design only to only affect uh, the stones within that particular selection. Thanks for watching.